I've always wanted to talk about um, the operations in, in Palmar and above all this, the operation that Clementi said he had on the 6th of August 1978. Um, Clemente found himself with a group of his father, the bishop's followers in Santa Fe de Bogota. Um, he Paul the Six dies, and two to four hours later, um, Clemente comes up with that our Lord had appeared to him with Saint Peter, etc., and the whole celestial court, um, and he is crowned Pope by Christ. Uh, so that kind of puts the whole thing of out the proclamation out the door because he didn't. He didn't proclaim himself, he was, according to them, crowned Pope. Now, <clears throat> the next day or a couple of days later, Clemente gives this, uh, oh, has another apparition. Our Lord appears to him and says, oh, well, now you're the new Pope, <clears throat> although you're a poor sinner, and although you had a serious fall into sin last night. Question mark. What was that? So I went and I found his ex-secretary, personal friend for years, 15, 20 years, Father Thomas, he's an Irish guy, and had a chat with him. And this is what happened on the night. And then I'll leave it to you to do, decide whether that message is authentic or not. He, uh, Clemente was sleeping with one of the new Colombian brothers. Yes, a homosexual act. Nothing against that, but Clement, they preached an awful lot of morals. Um, and the reason why he included that in the uh, in the apparition was that he, the Colombian guy was seen leaving his room. Now, the funny thing about all this is that the Colombian guy was a right old chancer and he robbed the convent gas on his way out. So that's the basis of all the Palmarian Church. Was Clemente crowned Pope?